Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 26th Annual Art Car Parade, produced by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. And watch what is amazing and unique to our city, the Houston Art Car Parade. Our parade is a bunch of vehicles normally on four wheels that people have embellished. Mobile creativity. Not even without question, it's the best, it's the biggest, and it might be the oldest. Between 250 and 300,000 people come to the parade each year. It started with just a very few cars, maybe 40 and we're up to between 260 and 280 cars each year now from all over the world. Houston's known everywhere in the world has been. This is the place that it all began, and this is the place for Art Camp. Good morning, love to be here in Houston, Texas. All right, Camp I'm Andy Hazel. I flew here just to be in the Art Camp Parade. The story is mundane man from Patterson, New Jersey, photocopier salesman, picked up um, from oblivion and danger by a passing superhero and deposited in Houston. We all need rescuing, let's face it. <laughs> Life is hard and cruel. We all want to dream that someday somebody's going to take us away from all of this. This is called Pop Art, and it's a lot of cans, that's the best description of it, that have been uh, transformed into flowers. <laughs> we cut down the cans very carefully. You learn very quickly to not prick your fingers. Then we pop out all the different size circles. And then between epoxy, silicone, double-sided glue dot is how it all forms. Then the flowers are magnetized. Cherie developed an incredible mag magnifying system. And so pop and pop art. This is the gnome car. And we started it because we want to promote a German association which wants to bring German culture to Houston. The gnomes, you would find them in German gardens, you know, they are like the ultimate German cult figure. They express some kind of humor and uh, irony, which we like to use because we Germans, we are, we can be funny. <laughs> The Houston community, the art car artists here really had a nucleus and that was the beginning of something that it was like a magnet and it attracted all kinds of artists and people to get in the uh, act of making cars. This parade promotes self-expression. Your car is your canvas, your bike, your lawnmower. Whatever you want can be that vehicle for you. And you're free to express it here, and everybody loves it. It's contagious. And the spirit of entrepreneurism, of expressing yourself and doing what you want to do, is part of this, and that's part of Houston. I'm an art teacher. We had probably a hundred kids off and on working, putting beads on, plus members of our community, my children, the neighbor children, policemen. The beads came to us as a donation and we had to physically take them off of the necklace and putting them on piece by piece. Our car theme is things that go bump in the night. So our idea was the students brainstormed and everybody came up with a different creature that they wanted to put on the car. So we wanted to represent everything that's dark and scary and creepy at night. We have a seven foot five werewolf. We also have a zombie on the side, so hopefully none of you will get bitten by her because if you do, you may not leave this parade alive. We do a community event here in Houston and we take our art cars to people that can't make it to the parade. And we got to go to the Lighthouse for the Blind. They were feeling their way around the car and I would, I would take someone's hand up here and I would say, this guy, he was on TV and he's got a big belly and he would say, hey, hey, hey. 
and they love that and they're like a fat Albert so it's just really cool that you can share your car and something that way with other people I was at a Mexican restaurant the other night and someone said Saturday is art car day that's my favorite day of the year and it makes all of this that is very complicated hard to put together this wonderful staff that does this the wonderful artists who contribute it all comes together and it feels like it's no effort at all just uh, happy to be a part of this community i'm so glad i was born in texas